Hi guys, I'm here with tutorial number 8. I'm going to teach you how to use the double variable type to solve math equations. File, let's start a new project. Let's call it averaging. I'm going to teach you how to average using three numbers. Create one label and create one text box. Place the label here and the text box here. I'm going to go ahead and give this text box, I mean this label, a name, average one. Highlight them. You can click and drag to highlight. Hold control and drag down. It creates a copy. I'm going to do it two times. Average one, change this one to be average two, and change this one to be average three. We're going to make one button. Make it pretty big. We're going to make it. We're going to call it calculate average. Then below that, we're going to place two more labels. This one is going to be labeled average. Hold control, drag it out, and make another one. Change its text name to be blank. As you can see, it's kind of disappeared. There it is. Move it over. Now, resize the form and double click your button. Inside a button click event, I'm going to show you a new way to define your variables. Since they're all going to be the double type variable, we need to declare four. We're going to do dim, which is declare a B, C, and D as double. We just declared four variables as double type. Instead of having to type out each line manually, dim A as double, well, I can't spell, double, dim B as double, etc., etc. So, we're going to have A equal text box 1.txt, B equal text box two dot text and C equals text box three dot text. Those are our three text boxes that will contain our numbers for averaging. So everybody should know how to find the average. We add the numbers up and divide by how many there are. So D, which is going to store our average, will be equal to A plus B plus C divided by three. Now we're going to set that final label label 5, which is the last one we put, that text is going to equal what D is. D being the average of the three grades. So let's give this a quick test. Average 1, 100. Average 2, 96. And average 3, 25. He bombed the last test. Well, as you can see, it makes a very, very nasty decimal. Let's let's fix that because I don't know about you, but I don't think I'd want to see a bunch of sixes and a random seven at the end for it rounding off. Let's force it to round off earlier. Visual Basic has a math class, of course, appropriately labeled math. There's a function math.round, which will force a number to round off at a given decimal place. I'm going to force it to round off in two decimal spots. That's what I just did. It'll round off D to two decimal places. Let's see if I can find one that actually leaves a remainder. 100, 96, 23, 25. There we go. 25. As you can see, the program is forced to round it off at two decimal places. I That is a very I mean, very quick and easy tutorial on how to use your doubles to calculate the average of uh, three numbers. This is Formula 3-4. I'll see you in tutorial number 9.